Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. As you know, in today's world, data is becoming increasingly important. Entire professions are dedicated to studying, understanding, and manipulating the data. Hence, it is important to know about the different types of data and their associated properties. So, in this session, we will discuss how to calculate the distortion in the normal curve using skewness and kurtosis. So, let's get started. We will start this tutorial by understanding symmetrical distribution. Then we'll move on to discuss skewed distribution and Pearson's coefficient of skewness. Finally, we will discuss kurtosis. So, let's get started. Symmetrical distribution. A distribution is said to be a symmetrical distribution when it is equally distributed on both the sides of the mean value. The distribution shape can either be a bell-shaped or U-shaped. In symmetrical distribution, the values of mean, median, and mode are all equal as you can see in the graph. Skewed distribution Skewness is used to measure the level of asymmetry in our graph. It is the measure of asymmetry that occurs when our data deviates from the norm. Sometimes the normal distribution tends to be tilt more on one side. This is because the probability of data being more or less than the mean is higher and hence makes the distribution asymmetrical. This also means that the data is not equally distributed. The skewness can be of two types, positively skewed and negatively skewed. Let's discuss them separately. Negatively skewed. In a negatively skewed distribution, the data points are more concentrated towards the right hand side of the distribution. As you can see in the graph, this makes the mean, median and mode bend towards the right. Hence, these values are always negative. In this distribution, Mode is greater than median and median is greater than mean. Now let's move on to positively skewed distribution. In a distribution that is positively skewed, the values are more concentrated towards the right side and the left tail is spread out as you can see in the graph. Hence, the statistical results are bent towards the left hand side. Therefore, the mean, median and mode are always positive. In this distribution, mean is greater than median and median is greater than mode. The measure of skewness always helps us to know to what degree and in which direction, positive or negative, the frequency distribution has a departure from symmetry. Positive or negative skewness can be detected graphically depending on whether the right tail or the left tail is longer, but we don't get the idea of the magnitude. In a negatively skewed symmetry, the values are always negative. This is the symmetrical distribution and in a positively skewed, the values are always positive. Now let's discuss Pearson's coefficient of skewness. The median is always the middle value and the mean and the mode are the extremes. So we can derive the formula to capture the horizontal distance between the mean and the mode using the Pearson's first coefficient. So the formula to calculate the Pearson's coefficient is mean minus mode divided by the standard deviation. The division by the standard deviation will help you to scale down the difference between the mode and the mean. This will scale down their values in the range of minus 3 to plus 3. In case where the mode is indeterminate, we can calculate the Pearson's coefficient by mean minus 3 median minus 2 mean divided by the standard deviation. If the value of coefficient is between minus 0.5 and 0.5, the distribution of the value is always symmetrical. If the value of coefficient is 0, then the distribution is symmetrical. If the value of coefficient is positive, then the distribution is positively skewed, and if the coefficient is negative, then the distribution will be negatively skewed. Now that we have discussed this symmetrical and skewed distribution, let's move on to understand what is kurtosis. Kurtosis is used to find the presence of outliers in our data. It gives us the total degree of outliers present. The data can be heavily tailed and the peak can be flatter, almost like punching the distribution or squishing it. While skewness signifies the extent of the symmetry, kurtosis measures the degree of peakness of a frequency distribution. When the peak of the curve becomes relatively high, then the curve is called leptokurtic. And when the curve is flat, it is called platykurtic. When the curve is similar to the normal curve, it is called mesokurtic. The expected value of kurtosis is 3. This is observed in a symmetrical distribution. A kurtosis greater than 3 will indicate positive kurtosis. Further, a kurtosis less than 3 will mean a negative kurtosis. 
the range of value for a negative kurtosis is from minus 2 to infinity. The greater the value of kurtosis, the higher is the peak, as you can see from the graph. With this, we come to an end to this tutorial. Let's conclude what we have learned. You can say that skewness and kurtosis are used to describe the spread of height of a normal distribution. Skewness is used to denote the horizontal pull of the data. It tells you how spread out the data is and the kurtosis is used to find the vertical pull or the peak's height. Thank you all for watching this session. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and happy learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.